In this time I will show you how to crochet beautiful with 3D pattern. In this time I will show you how to crochet beautiful head with 3D pattern. In the same time I will show you how to crochet the crown for this head. Let's begin the work. For work you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the work by making a chain of 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on till you will get 80 chains in the foundation chain. You should make the foundation chain loosely. I made 80 chains and join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Before you will make a slip stitch, please check that it won't be twisted. The ring is ready. Begin the first round. I will begin from brim part. For this chain 3 to bring up the yarn. And double crochet into the each stitch of the foundation chain. Like this. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round one is made. Let's start round 2. For this back post single crochet, then chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Make front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then back post double crochet around the next stitch. Then front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then back post double crochet around the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. Back post double crochet around the next stitch. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round 2 is ready. Begin round 3. For this back post single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Then front post double crochet. Back post double crochet. Front post double crochet and back post double crochet around the next stitch.
Continue working in this way till the end of this round. We did first, second and began the third one. In total it should be five of them. You should make two more rounds as we did in the tutorial. We did five rounds of the brim. Let's look. One, two, three, four, five. Let's begin the main pattern. For this, chain three to bring up the yarn. Then double crochet into the same stitch that we have just worked it into. Then double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet through the next stitch. And double crochet into the same stitch one more time. Double crochet through the next stitch and double crochet white through the next stitch. Then double crochet and two double crochet through the next stitch. I will alternate till the end of this round. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of the round by working a slip stitch. Round is made. Begin the next round of the main pattern for this back post single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Pause double crochet. Then four front pause double crochet. One. Two. Three. And four. Two back pause double crochet. One. Two. And four front pause double crochet in a row. One. Two. Three. Two back pause double crochet in the round one, two, I'm about complete this round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round 2 is made. Before we continue, let's stop here and look at work. The report is 12 stitches. Here is it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In total, it should be 10 reports in the head. Begin round 3. Back pause single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Back post double crochet. 
yarn over four times to work with front post triple treble crochet stitch we skip one two three four five six and front post triple treble crochet stitch around the seventh one one and make three front post triple treble crochet stitches more in total it should be four of them two three and four then yarn over the hook and make two back post double crochet in a row one and make the second one Then yarn over four times to work with front post triple treble crochet stitch and make four front post triple treble crochet stitches. Make the first one. Make the second one. Three. We have just done the cable stitch pattern. Two back post double crochet. One. And two. Then yarn over four times and make the cable stitch pattern in the same way as we did in the first time. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round 3 is made. Begin round 4. For this back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. Back post double crochet. Then I will be making front post double crochet stitches. Let's count one, two, three. and four we did four front post 
double crochet stitches now two back post double crochet one and two then four front post double crochet one two three and four two back post double crochet one two then front post double crochet four times and so on keep working in this way till the end of this round I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round 4 is made. Let's begin round 5. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, back post, double crochet then make four front post triple travel crochet stitches we skip one two three four five six and first one around the seventh one Then make the second one around the next stitch. The third one. Then front post triple treble crochet stitch last time. Then back post double crochet twice. First one and make the second one around the next stitch. Make four triple treble crochets around the stitch that was skipped. Work behind the stitches that we did before. One. Then make the second one. The third one. the fourth one
let's repeat again yarn over four times and make the last one then two back post double crochet we have done the cable stitch pattern keep working in this way till the end of this round let's complete round 5 insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch begin round 6 back post single crochet chain 2 to bring up the yarn then back post double crochet make 4 front post double crochet stitches 1 2 3 and 4 2 back post double crochet Four front post double crochet in a row. One, two, three, and four. Two back post double crochet. Then front post double crochet and so on. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round six. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of the sound by working a slip stitch. Round is made. Let's look what we have done. The report in the height is four rows. One, two, three, four. So I will repeat from the third to the sixth round it means I will crochet the seventh row as I made third one therefore in the height four rows from the third to the sixth rounds you should make as many times this pattern as you need I did the main pattern as many times as you need Let's measure it. It is 15 centimeters. The main pattern is 10 centimeters, 5 millimeters. And let's begin the crown. Begin the first round of the crown. Back post, single crochet. chain to bring up the yarn back post double crochet then I will be making 3d pattern yarn over four times then 
we skip one, two, three, four, five, six, and front post triple treble crochet stitch around the seventh one, and make three more such front post triple treble crochet stitches. In total, it should be four of them. Make the second one. the fourth one, the third one, and the fourth one. Let's repeat again. Back post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Then make four front post triple treble crochet stitches. Work behind the stitches that we did before. Make the first one. Two. Three. Four. Then back post double crochet two together. Make the first one, make the second one. And pull through all loops on the hook. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete the first round of the crown. Insert the hook into the back post double crochet by working a slip stitch. Round 1 is made. Begin round 2 of the crown. Back post single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Front post double crochet 2 together. Make the first one, the second one, and pull through all loops on the hook. First one make, make the second one, and 
een boel grote omloops aan de hoek. Dan back pose double crochet. Front pose double crochet two together. Make the first one. Make the second one. And pull through all loops on the hook. First one. Make the second one. And pull through all loops on the hook. Then back pose double crochet. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round 2 of the crown. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round 2 is made. Let's begin round 3 of the crown. Back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Then I will be making 3G pattern. Yarn over twice to work with front post treble crochet. We skip 1, 2, 3 stitches. And front post treble crochet around the fourth one. Then make front post treble crochet around the next stitch. Back post double crochet. Front post treble crochet. Make front post treble crochet around the next stitch. Here what we have. Continue the work. Make back post double crochet. And so on. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round 3 of the crown. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Let's stop and look at the work. Let's look at our pattern. Let's begin round 4 of the crown. Back post, single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Front post, double crochet, 2 together. Make the first one. Make the second one. Pull through all loops on the hook. Back post double crochet. Front post double crochet two together. Make the first one. Make the second one. And pull through all loops on the hook. Back post double crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round 4. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round is made. 
here what we have let's begin round five back post single crochet chain to bring up the yarn then front post double crochet back post double crochet not finish then front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook back post double crochet not finish front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook back post double crochet not finish front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook I'm about complete round 5 of the crown insert the hook into the front post double crochet by working a slip stitch round is made let's begin round 6 insert the hook around the front post insert the hook around the front post double crochet by working front post single crochet chain to bring up the yarn then front post double crochet front post not finish around the front post double crochet then make the second front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook front post double crochet two together make the first one around the front post double crochet make the second one around the front post double crochet and pull through all loops on the hook continue working this way till the end of this round i'm about complete round six of the crown we skip chain stitch on the beginning of this round insert the hook into the front post double crochet by working a slip stitch i cut off the yarn in this stitch and sew this hole this is back side of the head take a yarn through the needle here are our stitches and with a needle go through the stitch with a needle go through the stitch with the needle go through the stitch and pull a little bit with the needle go through the stitch you can sew two rounds the crown is ready In the same time I save the pattern in the head. The head is almost ready and we need to crochet reverse single crochet trim around the foundation chain. Take a brim part, take the working yarn, insert the hook into the any stitch into the foundation chain. Take the working yarn, pull it through, make a chain and reverse single crochet into the each 
chain stitch of the foundation chain. Like this, continue working this way till the end of this round. I am about complete round of reverse single crochet, make last reverse single crochet, remove the hook, insert it into the first reverse single crochet, take the working loop, pull it through. The reverse single crochet trim is ready. And you can cut off the yarn. Here how it looks. The hat is ready and let's measure it. The height is 20 centimeters. And this hat is for 52 to 56 centimeters of head circumference. Fifty-nine. Today we have learned how to crochet beautiful head with 3D pattern. As you can see, these small holes here are they. And now I show you how to remove these holes. This is back side of the head. This is 3D pattern. Insert the hook into the stitch. Take the working yarn, pull it through. Make a chain. And pull. Chain 2. Insert the hook into the hole or insert the hook around the stitch by working a slip stitch, chain 2 and a slip stitch. I insert the hook like this by working a slip stitch. Chain 2 by working a slip stitch. Chain 2 and work a slip stitch. Chain 2 and a slip stitch. Chain 2 and a slip stitch. Chain 2 and slip stitch. I will be making this way till the crown. Here what we have. I make three chains. One, two, Three. I skip this row. As you can see, this side doesn't have holes, so I need to skip this row. So I will work with this row. I did three chains, 
insert the hook into the first stitch by working a slip stitch. You can make more chains if it's not enough for you. And we continue to chains and slip stitch. Here is the next one. Chain two. And a slip stitch. Continue working in this way till the end of this row. Here I'm making two chains and continue with this row. This is front side of the head. You can remove this hole all you can't do this. This is by your wish. I think this head will have more prettier look without holes. I remind you this is head is perfect for 52 to 56 or 58 head circumference. Today we have learned how to crochet unusual head with 3D pattern and crown for this head. For more video tutorials, please visit our website sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching. We are pleased to inform you that we have opened membership service on our website. Membership includes an access to the video tutorials, which are published every week. Only at sharonitin.com and only for members. For more detailed information, please visit the membership page at sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching.